Greetings my unrelenting steel mill workers. This is Kato and in this video guide I plan to assist you in finding all of the unique equipment in the pit expansion for Fallout 3. With the assistance of the Fallout Wiki I will be giving you the basic stats of each piece in this format and I will be showing you the locations by quest progression. Once you apply to become an indentured servant of the pit, you are sent to a raider named Everett who sent you to the steel yard to gather ingots. And every 10 ingots you bring back to him he will have something for you. If you need help finding all the ingots I left a link for that guide in the description. When you enter the steel yard, one of the first unique weapons you will have access to will be the man opener. It's in the supply plant which is off to your right when you first see the train tracks. You follow the linear path of the supply plant all the way up to the wild man's hideout, you will find it on the bed. This is one of the two unique auto axes you can receive. It has a fair base damage of 35, and even though its AP cost is a whopping 65, it will ignore standard damage resistance of your enemies, similar to the Deathclaw Gauntlet. The second weapon to be found in the steel yard would be Wild Bill's sidearm. After talking to one of the laborers named Millie, she will ask you to go find her friend Wild Bill. Walk towards the back of the steel yard until you find a giant brick structure, and on those stairs, you will find Wild Bill's corpse, along with a note to his friends and his sidearm, which is a unique 32 pistol that has a little bit more power than your standard. Mill always needs more metal. Got any for me? Once you begin collecting steel ingots, Turning in the first 10 will give you the laborer outfit. It's a unique version of the slave outfit you start out with and raises your agility, strength, and endurance by one, increasing your survivability by just a little bit. After you gain 20 ingots and turn them into Everett, he will give you the filtration helmet. This also has five damage resistance, rather high for a helmet, and the extra radiation resistance is good to have early in this expansion. Coming back to Everett with 30 ingots will give you the steel knuckles, a unique pair of brass knuckles with a base damage of nine, critical damage increase of nine, and a critical multiplier by one. For those who like the up close and personal approach, out of any unarmed weapon, the steel knuckles have the lowest AP cost for VATs. The first heavy reward you gain is the metal master armor for 40 ingots. The damage resistance of this set is close to the resistance of power armor coming in at 36. And at the agility cost at 1, it also increases your energy weapons and unarmed skill by 10. When you bring back 50 ingots, you will be given the metal blaster. It looks like a standard laser rifle until Everett shines a bit of light on the subject. Some genius got to tinkering with his laser. Polished metal barrel, a few prisms in there, and he got this lethal light show. Lethal Light Show indeed. The single beam of this rifle has now been split into 9, doing a base damage of 55 or 6.1 per beam. Like other laser rifles, it has an exceptional AP cost in vets. For the big guns users, the bombshell armor might be what you're looking for and requires 60 ingots to be turned in. It has a damage resistance of 24, which is the second lowest, but if you prefer big guns and explosives, it'll give you a plus 10 to both of those. Bring back 70 ingots and Everett will give you the Leather Rebel Armor. It has a max damage resistance of 30 with a bonus to Charisma. If you prefer light armor like myself, this is the best you're going to get in the pit. Come back to Everett with 80 ingots and you will get the Mauler, another unique auto axe. In comparison to the Man Opener, the Mauler actually has 10 more damage at 45 instead of 35. Costs about 30% less to attack with in VATS, but it doesn't get the armor carving ability that the Man Opener does. The choice is yours. Bringing Everett back so many ingots, he begins to think you're a little bit special. A special kind of freak of nature. Bring back 90 ingots and he will reply with... Here. This is the best gun I ever had. User in good health. The Perforator is a unique infiltrator rifle that has been altered for a slower firing rate to increase accuracy. An enjoyable weapon for both riflemen and snipers. Collecting all 100 ingots of the steel yard will compel Everett to give you his most prized possession, the Tribal Power Armor. This suit has a damage resistance of 35, raises your strength and luck by plus 1, increases melee skill by 5, decreases your agility by 1, and increases your action points by 15. If you only need agility for the AP, you'll still gain more by wearing this suit of armor. After you finish up getting all of the ingots, you will be sent into the arena of the pit, being awarded with your freedom if you survive which will be a good way to utilize and test out all the goodies Everett gave you. After you are victorious, and let's be honest, you will be victorious, you will be allowed entry into Uptown. On your way towards Haven, Asher's outpost, to your left there will be an abandoned apartment complex that is infested with trogs. Inside and behind one of the locked doors you will find a Chinese hideout, and to the left of the bed there will be an average locked safe. Unlock it and you will get the Hat of the People. It's a unique Chinese commando hat with a damage resistance of 1, which is appropriate for a regular hat, and a small guns bonus of 5. The very last unique piece for this guide is worn by none other than Asher himself. You can receive this armor in many different ways, you can side with him or not, 
Killing him is an obvious choice, but also there is a turret in his office, and I read in the wiki that you can hack the terminal in his room, turn off the turret's friend or foe, and kill him that way. Though it's identical in looks to the tribal power armor. The boons you gain from this set are quite different. This set has a damage resistance of 40, gives a plus one bonus to strength, charisma, and luck, radiation resistance of 10, and the same negative one to agility. And that, my wonderful wastrels, is all the unique equipment of the pit. If you found this guide helpful, I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you want more Fallout content. This is Kato Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.